The Bengals got their guy with the 31st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Hi again, everyone, and welcome into Paul Brown Stadium. I'm in the news conference room. It's about midnight on Thursday, and the Bengals, well, they took Daxton Hill, safety slash corner. I'm going to just call him defensive back out of Michigan. And I love this pick. And if you've watched our videos this week, well, I talked a lot about Daxton Hill because I knew if he was available at 31, the Bengals really liked him. And I'll explain why and dive into a bunch of it. But by the way, Zach Taylor and Luana Rumo were just talking right here at this um, podium here or at this uh, at the desk, and if you missed that, well, we put that up. So make sure that you check that out right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk and hit that subscribe button. Daxton Hill, what are the Bengals getting? They are getting a versatile chess piece that can do a little bit of everything, and a lot of it he does at a really, really high level. Let's start with the physical gifts. He's speedy, runs a sub 4-4, four, 4-3-8, four, four, 40 yard dash, six foot 190. So he's got good size. He's not small. You're not talking about a 5'9 guy uh, or anything like that. This dude is big and where you want a defensive back to be. He's built like that. He's physical. He's not afraid to tackle, doesn't shy away from tackles, and uh, will deliver big hits. So you're talking about run game, play in the box. Uh, basically, the Von Bell traits, he has those. Here's the fun part about Daxton Hill. He's also got the Jesse Bates traits, right? Remember when Jesse Bates came in out of Wake Forest, and you're like, man, he's got range. He can go from sideline to sideline, but he might not tackle the best. Daxton Hill does both. He's got a ton of range. He's super athletic, 93rd percentile in the shuttle, 96th percentile in the three cone, and I might have those backwards, but among safeties, awesome. You take his relative athletic scores and compare them to corners, it goes up. So he is a really high-end athlete that the Bengals, while well, they're excited to get uh, on the back end of their secondary. And I know some of you are like, wait, they have Jesse Bates, they have Von Bell. This dude isn't even going to play as a rookie well, Zach Taylor was asked about that and asked basically, hey, is he going to contribute on special teams? Because does he have special teams experience? You already have two safeties. And Zach kind of laughed and politely said, he's our first round pick. He's going to be playing for us on defense. And that's the exciting thing is I think that this defense – that Lou Anarumo, and we all know the job he did in the playoffs in the back end of the year when they dealt with some injuries and they had to piece things together and they had to play perfect football in the second half of the AFC title game, for example, against the Chiefs. We knew that he was, you know, so uh, my broadcast partner on Locked on Bengals, Jake Lisko, would call him the mad scientist, and that was the nickname, right? But there were so many different nicknames and he was getting a ton of praise well, this guy is going to add multiple elements, I think, to the Bengals' defense this year. So uh, what does it mean about Jesse Bates' future? I don't know about that. But here's what I do know. Jesse Bates is playing on the franchise tag. Von Bell's entering the last year of his deal. And the Bengals looked up, and a player that they thought was going to go in the top 20, maybe top 25, was still there at 31. And I mentioned him uh, a, f a few days ago. The dark horse candidates – to be picked at 31. And the reason he was on there is because I think he's really high on the Bengals board and he fit a lot of what they were looking for. Playmaker, versatile chess piece that can make it hard on opposing quarterbacks. And that's what the Bengals want to do. They want to be able to confuse the Patrick Mahomes of the world or get after the Patrick Mahomes of the world. This guy can line up in the nickel, right? And, and guard slot receivers. He can guard tight ends. He's really good in coverage. He's big enough to do so. He's sticky, as you say, uh, in coverage to these guys. So he's going to be able to guard uh, a lot of different playmakers in the NFL. Think about the different slot receivers that the Bengals are going to have to deal with in the playoffs, in the AFC North. I mean, they're really high-end guys. Tyreek Hill, by the way, is a guy who lines up in the slot a lot. Uh, so he could guard someone like that and then also guard some of these high-end tight ends. So I think that that is a huge piece. And by the way, he's also capable of blitzing off the edge and delivering big hits and making tackles in the run game and playing in the box. So I uh, really liked him. I was listening to Chris Sims on Dave Lapham's podcast before the draft started, and he was, like, he was watching him, and it reminded him, Daxton Hill reminded Sims 
of Jesse Bates. And I think it's a more athletic, more physical Jesse Bates that's also more versatile. And could you imagine that? Could you imagine if Jesse Bates was a little more athletic, a better tackler, and more versatile? And that, that's the type of range Daxton Hill has. So I like the pick a ton. Uh, I know it was a surprise to some, and I, I've told this to, to so many people. Like I'm like, man, if they pick Daxton Hill, people are going to be shocked. And I get it. I understand the initial. I can't believe it. But we knew the Bengals were probably going defense. Tyler Linderbaum was off the board, my my number one choice. I don't think they were taking him anyway, but he was off the board, so it makes it easier. George Karloftis was off the board. I think he would have been in play, so he goes. And so it's Daxton Hill, and that is a hell, hell of a pick. I mean, like, they might have picked him at 24 or 23 or 20. And the fact that he was still there at 31, and you look, and look, the reality is, is you may need to replace Jesse Bates. But right now, the plan is for Bates, Bell, and, and Hill to make it work. And I, I think they can because Hill's really versatile and can do a bunch of different things. And that's the part of it that, to me, is really exciting. Because now you're giving Lou Anarumo, for the first time as a defensive coordinator, they use uh, at, since he's been in Cincinnati, they use their first-round draft pick on a defensive player. And it's this young guy that's versatile, that should make an impact as a rookie and can grow as well because he's going to learn from guys like Von Bell and Jesse Bates. And it really does give the Bengals ultimate flexibility. Maybe they do get a deal done with Jesse Bates. But if they don't, then maybe they just extend Von Bell and they have, you know, Daxton Hill. And that's a hell of a one-two combo. And right now you look at it, the Bengals three deep at safety. Suddenly the cornerback room, Daxton Hill is a part of that. He is. He's going to be Mike Hilton's backup at times, and maybe he even give, gives Mike Hilton a breather at times. I mean, depending on how they, they make things work and, and align things, and that's the thing. I think it's really going to impact how the Bengals' defense operates. Now, I did ask, because you look at him, he's six foot, 190. I'm like, can he play outside corner? And, and, and to me, at least on paper, he can. But Lou Anderson was like, ah, we'll see. We'll get him here and see what he can do, what he can't do. But, yeah, I think it's a versatile chess piece. I think the Bengals – to make a chess reference, they found a queen piece that they can move all over the board and, and put him in different scenarios and he can make an impact. And that is a, a hell of a pick, especially when you're drafting at the end of round one. This is a guy I thought was going to go in the top 15, top 20, and, and thought maybe, okay, maybe he falls to New England at 21, falls all the way to 31 to the Cincinnati Bengals. They take him ahead of Andrew Booth. I think the medicals on Andrew Booth uh, were something that held that up and uh, – Daxton Hill is the newest member of your Cincinnati Bengals. So we're going to have a ton for you, including a forecast ahead of what they could do in the second and third rounds on Friday. So keep it locked right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Hit that subscribe button. Check out allbengals.com, and we'll also have instant reaction as well all weekend long during the draft on the Locked on Bengals podcast. For our channel coordinator, Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine signing off for now following the Bengals pick 31st overall, Daxton Hill, safety out of Michigan, right here at Paul Brown Stadium.